We're going to start with some of the brilliant odd one out examples that you've sent through. I, I keep getting them, I keep loving them, they're completely different to anything I would have ever thought of. So we're going to start there. Then we're going to explore one of my favourite topics in all of maths, Venn diagrams. Now, if you didn't love them before, you will do afterwards. Enjoy this one, it's going to be an absolute cracker. Well, the only place we could possibly start is with some of the brilliant odd one out examples that we've got. Here's one of my favourite ones. A flower pot, and I was just thinking here about the actual pot, a garden chair, and a bird. Which one's the odd one out? Elodie, I love this example. Hmm. Pause the video. Can you think of a reason for each one? Now, I'll tell you what I went for, and I'm sure it'll be different from, from what you went for. I went for, the flower pot must be the odd one out, because it doesn't have legs. Then I went, no, the garden chair's the odd one out, because the other two things are about natural beauty. Um, I think birds are beautiful, flowers as well, but not the garden chair. Oh no, but hang on a minute. The bird's the odd one out, because it's the only one that can move by itself. That's what I went for. Well, let's have a look at another one. And we've got another, a really great shape one from Thea. So again, thank you, Thea, for this one. Um, so which one's the odd one out here? Uh, pause the video and have a go. Well, for this one, Thea has given us the reasons. So we've got the, uh, the triangle, no right angles. Um, the square have all the sides the same length, whereas the other two shapes have got different length sides. And then the the hexagon on the right, well, this one is not symmetrical. So that's why that one's the other one out. The other two shapes have got lines of symmetry. G great example. Love that one. Thank you, Thea. So today we're going to continue reasoning about shapes. Today's video is called Numbers, Shapes and Holidays. And we're using these ideas to drive one of my very, very, very favourite topics. We're going to look at Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are fantastic. You can explore them in different ways. You can be really, really creative. They can be fun. You're going to see why. I hope you're going to love a good Venn diagram when we finish. Um, we're going to start by looking at some of these structures. Um, so let's say if I'm putting together a diagram and I'm, I'm arranging even numbers and odd numbers, then when I'm looking at whole numbers, numbers are either even or they're odd. There's no middle point. So if I'm putting um, uh, whole numbers in those two circles, I, I could put the even ones in one, the odd ones in the other, but I wouldn't have a Venn diagram because there's nothing to go in the middle. But if I was looking at multiples of three and odd numbers, then I would have a, a Venn diagram where I've got this section in the middle because numbers can be in both groups. They can be multiples of three and they can be odd. So for example, uh, there's some numbers that I've, I've put in. 15, of course, is a multiple of three and it's odd. 17 is only odd, so it does belong in this oval, but not in the other one. Here we've got multiples of three, but they're not odd. Now, of course, 20 goes on the outside because it is neither a multiple of three nor is it odd. Well, have a look at this one. Multiples of three and multiples of six. Now this time I've put the multiples of six section inside the multiples of three. Now why have I done that? Let's put some of those numbers in. If a number is a multiple of six, it will automatically be a multiple of three. I couldn't have a multiple of six that isn't a multiple of three. So I've put it in the middle, um, actually inside the section. I know it looks a little bit like an egg. Um, whereas 15 here, that would just be a multiple of three. It wouldn't also be a multiple of six. Whereas 12 and 18 is a multiple of six and it's also in multiples of three. Whereas 17 and 20, of course, they would be on the outside. Hmm. So which kind of diagram to use? So have a think about this. We've got animals and plants, plants and vegetables, animals and mammals. Hmm. For each example, which would be the appropriate kind of diagram to sort the information that's required? See if you can think, I'm going to join those up, a, a, a heading to a diagram. Which one will be which? Pause the video and see if you can see. Okay, so let's start off with animals and plants. Well, animals and plants will be the two separate section. It's either an animal or it's a plant. Correct me, scientists, if I'm wrong, if there's an, a, a, an animal that is a plant. But as I understand, they're two separate sections. What about plants and vegetables? Well, vegetables are types of plants, but they're not the only type of plant. 
Um, but you, it could be a, a vegetable and a plant, or a plant but not a vegetable. Um, so I've gone for, for this kind of diagram here. Um, how about animals and mammals? Well, I would use this one here, because if it's a mammal, the, the, this middle part here, it will also be in the bigger group of animals. Now, of course, there are animals that aren't mammals, so there be, can be other parts that go in there as well. But there, that would be how I would use the, uh, how I'd use the diagrams. Okay, well, here, let's have a look at another kind of Venn diagram. So here's another of my favourites. It's, it's a three-way one. So now I've got multiples of three, odd numbers, and numbers less than ten. So, for example, for a number to go in this section, it is a number that's less than 10, because it's in this oval here, and it's also a multiple of 3, but it's outside of the odd numbers section. So, so I'd have to think about numbers that can go there, for example. Okay, so let's say 20 would be on the outside. It, it, it's more than 10, it's not a multiple of 3, and it's even. 8, well, it's less than 10, but it's not a multiple of 3, and it's not odd. 7, less than 10, it's an odd number, but it's not a multiple of 3. And 9 is a multiple of 3, an odd number, and it's less than 10. Hmm. Now, pause the video and think of other numbers that could go in other sections. Okay, well, let's have a look at a few examples. Um, so let's say 21, multiple of 3 that's odd, but it's, it's more than 10. Um, there's another multiple of three that is even, so it'll just be in the multiple of three section. And how about there? 25, an odd number. It's, it's more than 10, so it's not in the less than 10 area. Not a multiple of three. Um, I'm sure you came up with different examples as well. There's another one, six. A multiple of three, and it's less than 10. Okay, so Christmas holidays, Easter holidays, summer holidays. Mm, what you like about them. Now, this, of course, will be highly personal, but can you think of something that can go in any of those different sections? Uh, pause the video. What, what examples could you give? Well, I'm going to explain some of them for me. Um, so, carols. Uh, I, I only sing them in the Christmas holidays, really, and I really like that. Not in, not in summer or Easter. I tend to have chocolate at Christmas and Easter, but not really over the summer. I love family time at all three, We're at Easter, at Christmas and in the summer holidays. It's a special time where I spend more time with my family. We often eat tea outside in the Easter holidays as well as the summer holidays, but I've never braved it yet in the Christmas holidays. And I have to say, I do love going surfing if I ever get a chance, but I'd only do that in the summer holidays. Eating Marmite? Well, I don't like that at any time of year. And so today's task, wherever you're viewing the video from, if you go at the blue link underneath, it will bring up today's tasks, three very different tasks. First of all, um, can you add shapes to this diagram? So here the, the headings are at least one line of symmetry in this oval, no pairs of parallel lines. Can you think about different shapes that could go in each section or task B? What could the heading be for each of those Venn diagrams? Are the answers as normal are at the bottom? Now. The extend task, oh my goodness, I can't wait for this. I've got a feeling there's gonna be some awesome examples. Design your own Venn diagrams. You can do them about shapes or not about shapes. Uh, do different kinds of Venn diagrams. Could you hide the headings? So we don't wanna see what your headings are. That will be the thing that we'll have to guess. So if you do end up emailing them through, again, I would love to know whose they are, whether you're, that you're in year five and six, whether we're allowed to use your name, and um, don't make it obvious what the headings are. If you can include that, maybe underneath, um, that will give us some awesome, awesome Venn diagrams to see if we can work out what those headings are. Good luck, enjoy. When it comes to Venn diagrams, we always enjoy.